Have you ever thought about the idea that you might honestly truly suck? Well, that's what today's video is all about. remember this guy from previous videos all you gotta do to speak to him is hello I'm Ben Biken welcome to Sparta if you're looking for okay a that's that great a little bit of everything oh great now he's gonna be Sparta in the video I'm gonna be trying to talk here let's go let's go back to the bench what I'm about to tell you is 100% genuinely the truth I was casually just eating my own lunch and all of a sudden these two women came and sat kind of next to me and they started just ranting about how their lives suck. Now I'm not one to judge but the entire restaurant could hear them. They were talking so incredibly loud. They went on and on about how their husbands suck. Their children suck. Their lives suck. Even the food that they were eating sucked and they use those words exactly, the word suck. When you hear the word suck, it's just, ah, uh, it, it's negative, it just doesn't sound good, it doesn't feel good to, to be called that or to say it to someone else. But that is the way they describe their situation. It was kind of appalling to me. These cameras just, there's so many of them, I gotta run around and, I'm not one to judge again, I don't know what their situation is like, but they were feeding they were not feeding life to one another, they were feeding this word suck and it just kept going over and over. And then at that very moment when they were saying you suck, I suck, everything else sucks, it kind of just clicked in my mind. What if it did suck, but you actually changed the outcome of your situation? What if you actually did something to make it unsuck? Which brings me to my final point of this video and why I'm making this right now. I'm not going to go into the depth of what they talked about, but it was pretty much their job, what they want to do in life, what they haven't been able to do because of kids, marriage, job, work life, just everything else being just suck, right? It's just a suckable level. But I guess I want to bring to the table today and to you hopefully to inspire you to create more is your stuff may suck right now. Aside from your situation and where you are now, let's say you have an aspiration to do something else more than what you're doing. You have a nine to five job and that's great, but on the side, you have the side hustle as most people would call it, but you really want that to take off and replace your nine to five so that what you're doing is making you happy and what you're doing is actually a passion for you. I'm gonna say to you, you gotta keep working, you gotta keep creating. It's, it's all about not sucking at that specific side thing. Those two women really got my gears going in my brain thinking, man, I don't wanna suck at what I do. I wanna be really good at what I do. And I think for, for that to happen, for me to make more YouTube content, to make better content, to make better slow motion B-roll, I have to create more and not suck. And I need, to, I need you to understand that Yes, it's going to suck in the beginning stages. Let's say one, two, three, even five years it could suck. Now, if you're doing it that long and nothing's happening for you, maybe you're doing something wrong on the back end or the market saying, hey, we don't like your stuff, you suck. My overall goal with this video, once again, is to kind of inspire you and encourage those who are trying to make their side hustle be their main thing to essentially not suck. Be self-aware as to what you're doing and how you're doing it and then start thinking about better ways to bring value to those watching. Start bringing value to your company, to your boss, to your parents if you live with them, to your landlord. Now that kind of sounds the opposite of what the world is telling us right now, but I highly agree with someone like Gary Vee when it's all about empathy and it's all about bringing value to those who actually need it and not just for yourself. You know if you have to improve, if you have to further improve your skills in whatever it is. Let's say it's music. Let's say it's being a photographer, a videographer. Let's say it's being a chef. Let's say it's automobile. Let's say it's uh, car washing. It's 
It can be anything in the world that you're passionate about and you really want to strive for it to be your to your main thing that brings in income, that brings in happiness, that brings in your passion, that makes you come alive. That's the main thing that I'm trying to drive here. And if you're going to do any of those things, you better make sure you're the person who's going to do them really, really well, if not the best in the world. That's when you need to find your unique value proposition, your UVP, as they would call it in the business world. That's, again, what makes you valuable, what makes you stand out from the crowd. All you have to do is, is use your phone and make yourself not suck. If you want to act, get on Instagram, start acting out skits on your stories, on your posts, start collaborating with friends, all of the above. That is what I would do. How many times have I said suck in this video? Quite a lot, I, I, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyway guys, just a little brief uh, documenting of my day right now. This was not planned. I did not plan to actually make a video on, uh, hey, you suck. It was going to be more of a tech review and my phone and camera, whatever, whatever. It's not going to be that. It's this video now. So I hope this, I hope you find this video encouraging and somewhat, you know, hopefully a kick in the button saying, hey, I got to get my, I got to step my game up. I got to do more and not suck. So with that being said, I'll catch you next time on the John and Q channel. Peace.